it's straight now. No, I, I mean it was, you know, 20 degrees toe in. I guess the the bulging moves when you uh, go back and forth. All right, let's do something. Let's see if our new Mad Max bumper beam will work. You got some gapage. That's quite a bit actually. Yeah. Bump. Do you have uh, nuts? Nuts? Yeah. Or yeah. a bolt. So we, we yeah, and not right that one. But I got, I got those too. But uh, if we can. We got some serious gapage on both sides. Come on, just grab it and see, let's see if uh, if bumper will fit. Because if bumper will fit, then the screw it. We'll just put a washer here. You don't want to make the bend. All right. Found some nuts and bolts. But this one needs cleaning. So this is a 10 by 1.25. The body shop welded is not in. And some of this, these welds are in the way. Like new. Second time. Seriously. Too much stuff. You can never have enough extensions. Yep. So it's it's all the way here, but this is the gap we're working with. So we're gonna try the bumper now and just see how it fits. So the bumper was 125, but we still don't have all the pieces for the grill. Uh, what? This thing first. Take it. Take it off. Come on now. Let's see. We may have uh, an issue. Is this supposed to go where the bolt is? There is a rubber bushing behind. No, I don't think so. That's no. Is that for? That's for for a light, I think, right? For what? The headlight? No. no, I don't think it's for the bumper because it doesn't line up. For... No, or maybe the bumper. What year is the bumper? 06? 07. 07? Well, I mean, it lines up very nicely with this fender. Okay, so these, these two are for the light brackets, the headlight brackets. That's what we're thinking. That's what we're thinking. Close! Yeah, I think this is in the way right here. This ain't gonna work. So, but we have an idea. We got a plan. So what we need to do, we need to come this way. So this, the corners of the bumper beam will go inside. All right, we have an issue. Don't try this at home. As you can see, these are all the way to each other, touching both sides. We cannot compress this spring anymore. And it's not moving. I mean, it's still, you know, slightly compressed, but whatever. So this is what you do. I would uh, use a, uh, a ratchet. I don't know. Thing ratchet? It's gonna be turned. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm gonna step back. Just enough. What do you know? Don't, don't, it's like, you know, don't point the gun at yourself. <laughs> I think it's stuck over here. There we go. For God's sake, don't try this at home. Uh. Is it still moving? It's still moving. Uh, it should be okay. Did it go easy? Should it go? No, it didn't go that easy. Mm 
So the plan is, since this one here is bent, okay, we're gonna try and take that one apart and switch the inserts. Right. Right? right. No. Where are you gonna? Yeah. No, because these these are STIs. These are from an 06 or an 07 STI uh, struts. All five, five up, whatever. Yeah, the red ones are all four, but those are shots. So, so what the, what's, what's the plan? To put these in the red ones? To put inserts into red uh, housing. Okay, because... All right, I'm going to take those apart again. Take this apart, and I'm going to compare um, the holes where those big bolts go through. Yeah, so just took out this nut for the bolt joint. A little more. Okay. And that was loose. That nut was loose. Any damage? Uh, good. All good. One of you. All right, guys. So, red ones are from an 04 STI. These, the black ones, not this, not this one. This one is from that's the damaged one from the 2.5. The one we just took apart that's from an STI. So, what we need, we need these struts, but we need the actual inserts from the STI and the STI springs because these holes do line up the mounting holes do line up between the 04 and the and ours the 06 but the STI ones don't these are spread off uh, wider from each other so we need what's inside there and the spring and basically build build it on this one it may be tough to take this apart because the nuts on the bottom these nuts are stuck they, they're spinning so i'm gonna have to figure something out and we basically gotta remove eight of these i have my own old sway bar with good sway bar links i'm gonna take one out and install one there so now to remove this control arm i'm gonna remove the bottom nut from the sway bar link Oh, I forgot. I'm looking for the subframe and it's not even, it's, it's there somewhere. So then I'm going to remove this nut and this nut here and the control arm will come out. All right. So far, so good. You can open these up. Yeah. These actually came out pretty, yeah, pretty easily and you can see how this looks inside. You got to watch out for those, those uh, seals. Oh no, yeah. We have to do, do, do we have to clean this up. So we need to clean it up and pack it with the other grease. Something mm -hmm. what grease? Huh? Not sure what kind of grease. No no. But uh, just for now I would put this one back if you need a lift. Which one? The old strap. This one? Yeah. Alright guys, easy way to take a sway bar link off. If you're gonna ju just, you know, if it's bad or you don't want it, you uh, take a pipe or you can actually cut it in half and use a wrench, the closed end, bend it out, pop it out. Then all you're left is, is with this plastic insert. Then there's that ball inside. There you go. Now. The one on the car actually came off for me by using the Allen key inside and spinning that while holding the nut in place. But if you can't, if it's on the car and you got a tight spot where you can't put a gun on it, then you get to the ball, get yourself some vice grips, make sure that's tight, and voila, that's it. So this is what uh, 
square ball links, ball joints, tie rod ends, and whatnot look like inside. What happens is this gets worn on the inside there and it starts to have a little play going up and down and for example if you're go going over bumps and you're hearing little knocks here and there this is it well obviously there's this plastic insert but it's a kind of a metal on metal action and that's what you're hearing update update we managed to finally take this bottom screw off the the bottom here remember if you're gonna this the spring needs to be compressed when you take this out it will still shoot out so remember don't hurt yourself remember to put these on Com compress the spring So that's why this needed to be flipped. Let's try this again. Update. You got this one in, same one is back, same exact strut is back. You got that new new old sway bar link. This one we basically loosen up this nut after flipping this or twisting this around 180 degrees. We loosen this one up so it turns and because the, these the bushings spin inside these whatever you call these brackets whatever uh, so you don't have to you know compress the suspension up and then tighten this up you can you can do it uh, while the car is up on these STI control arms all right so now we're gonna get ready for a test drive number two we gotta muscle up some lights and attaching to the... You need to fit the airbox. Oh yeah. Let's, uh, let's bring it down and uh, fix the airbox. The wheel on? Oh yeah, okay. Wheel on. And then uh, we got a new used airbox. Because that one was broken. I should, sh I should show you the ABS bracket for the ABS pump. This was all bent up, a little bit rusted here and there. Look at it now. No, this is not new. Beautiful. Are we gonna switch the net sensor for the original? Because that one has a little honey. No, it may not work. It, that may be different. What? The, the sensor. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We have to switch the Yeah, sensor. we have to switch it. Attach this. This one here. Oh, we may need some uh, rubber behind it. Uh, new, slightly rusted bolt, so it feels right at home. Wrong side. Isn't this from a bumper beam? Could be. Right. Good. We need to. So, so. We need to now. We need to bend. So we got the lights fully adjustable 
also side markers, okay. low, low beam, Come on. and then high beam, holy shit, hell yeah, <laughs> let's do this, oh yeah, we gotta take it off the jack. Still got an exhaust leak, need a new gasket. Holy shit, we got too much camber, man. Man, we got too much, way too much camber. Holy shit. And this wheel, also. Oh man. All right, let's, let's turn these lights on. This is pretty good, actually. All right, so we do have lights. We, we do see what's ahead of us, but uh, you probably don't. But it's driving, we're driving. No knocking. So we do have, we're doing what, 20? Oh, oh, whoa, 25! Can we go that way? What's that noise? Sounds like a gearbox. Like me, out of wine? Yeah, go right. I don't know, could be anything. We're creaking noises from the front. We probably should put it all back together and then, uh, you know, test drive it, not halfway and then, uh, you know, listen for noises. Obviously, you know, there's stuff missing, like the subframe. <laughs> oh, it's fender liner. Yeah, that's the fender liner. Yeah. Hold on, let me fix it because we're gonna we're gonna end up buying another one. It's rubbing against the wheel. That's why. It's rubbing against the wheel. Let's let's do a drive by. I mean, these lights, man, these look, <laughs> they actually look pretty cool. <laughs> Is this a spaceship? Fender liner again. <laughs> Shut it up. Yeah, because we adjusted the cam the top camber bolt to full minus or negative camber. And we didn't touch the other side and that shock that bent the uh, strut tower on the bottom it's also giving us negative camber yeah this is uh mad max stuff over here all right boys and girls so we do have some progress we have been i've been working all day 10 hours straight probably anyways we're gonna we're gonna have to bend this uh, bumper beam out a little bit and we do have a plan that's next part next episode uh, the control arms are done we do have to still replace the struts and that's what's going on here I'm gonna do some switching around that's what we're gonna do next probably under the hood is pretty much done. The airbox is in place. The ABS bracket is in place. Not much to do there. We're probably going to end up doing um, some maintenance. You know, change oil, uh, oil in the trans, oil in the rear diff, maybe spark plugs. We'll see. Low mileage, but you know, it is old. It is a 10 year or 14 year old car after all. So we might as well do spark plugs as well. And then I'm sure we're going to have a lot of fun messing around with the fender and the bumper attaching all this other stuff and that fender liner is on the way i think it was 15 dollars from rock auto and then after all that's done it's gonna be paint all right see you soon <laughs>